Broadcasting live from the Newsmax studio in New York City, here is Steve Malsberg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you know by now, and we've been talking about this, um, Condoleezza Rice has uh, officially declined her commencement uh, invitation uh, from Rutgers University, saying it's become a distraction after a handful of students uh, who called her a war criminal and a bunch of professors, a couple of hundred of them at least, uh, from Rutgers uh, petitioned to uh, uh, have her not speak and uh, made her the issue. She graciously, although uh, uh, some have said she should have uh, showed up anyway, but she didn't want to become the issue and take away from the graduation. Joining us now is Rudy Bell, distinguished professor of history at Rutgers University. Hello, sir. Hello. So I guess uh, congratulations are in order. You got your wish. Free speech no, has, we been, don't consider free speech has been stifled and, uh, and, and she's been censored and uh, the most successful black w w woman in the history of the United States will not be at your university. Congratulations. She will not receive an honorary degree. She's welcome to come and speak. She's welcome to come to our teaching tomorrow at 530. Uh, but I don't think she, that's just kind of short notice for a busy person. So maybe she wants to come in the fall. That'd be fine. Yeah, It'd well, well, That's she first of all, she is welcome to come for the commencement. She withdrew. You didn't you didn't win. The, the school did not rescind the invitation. She decided to not show up, which you might I consider a victory. It, you called it a win. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that you say, well, she's welcome to come here. She's also welcome to speak at the graduation. I just want to point that out. The school did not take away that that invitation. The um, president and the board of governors did not. But right. the wishes of uh, a great many students and faculty were quite clear. Well, well, how many students would you say participated in this sit-in and this protest? Like uh, 25, 30? I think it was a lot more than that. And when we ran a poll of all the faculty, we had one of the highest turns out, turnouts ever, and two-thirds favored her not coming. Okay, so uh, I, so, but you're 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 happy about that. Uh, you don't call it a victory, but you're you're happy about her not coming. And again, uh, you know, this is the most successful African American woman who rose from. She saw the injustices of civil of the civil rights, uh, 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 you know, era. She lived through them as a little girl. She witnessed horrific events. Uh, she had a strong upbringing, and she rose to the, the highest levels of, the gov of government in the United States. She's part of academia, uh, and yet, yet you don't welcome her to speak at graduation. I mean, that, that is, to me, um, against everything that America stands for and against everything universities are supposed to stand for. But people like me know that universities don't stand for that. Universities want no diversity in thinking. They want people who think like you. And if someone thinks differently, then get them the heck out, shut them up, and keep them away. And that's a tragedy. This is a, just a tirade on your part, which uh, doesn't change the fundamental fact that a person with the ad adverse upbringing, somewhat adverse conditions, because her parents were very wonderful middle-class people who raised her well, uh, which not all of us have uh, can, can say we share. The fact is that she condoned torture and uh, consciously told lies about uh, weapons of mass destruction. Really? How do you, so how do you know she action. consciously told lies about weapons of mass destruction, sir? How do you know that? What do you mean by that? Where, 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 what do you mean she can't? Give me one lie that she consciously told. First of all, name me one lie. Uh, it has to be conscious to be a lie. What, what did she lie about knowingly, Aluminum sir? Aluminum tubes, which had nothing to do what was with that? What was that? mass destruction. What was that? Aluminum tubes, which had nothing to do with <laughs> the possibility of building weapons of mass destruction. Really? Really. Okay, so you're a scientist, you're a, you're a weapons inspector, we you have know more than she does. On the, we have scientists on the campus. Okay. The fact is very well established. Yeah. And again, yeah. I invite you to come and learn more. From I you. wouldn't step foot on Rutgers University, sir. And I live in New Jersey, and I think your university's a disgrace. I wouldn't send my son, who's 14, to Rutgers University. It's a disgrace. The fact that you wouldn't let this woman, this wonderful woman, come on campus and speak, and speak, and give another point of view and listen to her and then afterward invite her to sit down and discuss some issues the fact that you did what you did i think is disgraceful but and it speaks to who your university is it speaks to who you professors are and it speaks to who a small teensy weensy itsy bitsy minority of the students are so i reject your invitation 
That's your choice. That is my choice. That absolutely is my choice, uh, and it's a shame. So, who would who do you like? Who uh, who would you like to see in uh, instead of Condoleezza Rice? Now that you're looking for a, a speaker, I think that a speech such as the one given by Toni Morrison two years ago was very. Inspiring. I said, who would you like to see now? If she's available, she can continue talking for all. Oh, you want her to come back? You want the same speech from the same person? That's diversity. No, That's perfectly. wonderful. Maybe we could have. Maybe you could hire her to do it every single year. I'm perfectly happy. To of course you are, because she speak. says what you like. I There's said, no Chris discourse. Chris There's no speak. controversy, and she satisfies your mindset, your opinion, I said your thought I would process. I'd be happy to have Governor Christie come and speak. You would. Absolutely, yes. Did he lie about anything? That's not the point. He's the governor of New Jersey. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. That's not the point. You said Condoleezza Rice. You said she didn't admit it. Uh, but your opinion is she lied, and that's the reason you gave for not wanting her. And now you're saying it's not the point if Christie lied. Our I don't get it. Lies contributed to the death of 100,000 Iraqis in the useless war. Really? Hey, let me ask you Ms. a question. Christie let me ask you a question. Did Saddam Hussein violate 17, or I think it was 19, UN resolutions, sir? Yes, and I wouldn't invite him on. All right, well, let me ask you something, sir. I know you're not equating Saddam Hussein to Condoleezza Rice, or maybe you are. Um, no, I'm not. I'm saying you, he's not. You, are, you in favor not the, are you in favor of the United Nations, sir? Do you favor it as a body? Yes. So what would you suggest you do to a person who violates 19 U.N. resolutions, sir? I believe that economic sanctions are a good approach. Oh, economic sanctions. In the wake of 9-11, when this man said he had weapons of mass destruction, said he would use them. When the King of Jordan warned General Tommy Franks, you better watch it, he's going to use them. You better wear the suits. When the whole world thought he had them, you would say, ah, let's talk with him, right? I invite you again to come. I would never learn, step foot on Rutgers campus. I've been there. I've been there to to, up to, in my previous days to talk about basketball, and I did shows there from WOR radio, but I will never step foot on that campus again because you don't have tolerance, sir. You don't yet, want tolerance. Step, you don't uh, want yet, diversity. I come on your show, so you see, I'm a, a person of more conviction than you. Sure, you are, as long as you got your way and Condi Rice isn't coming. Uh, professor, I appreciate the discourse, uh, which you don't. Uh, Rudy Bell, distinguished professor. No, I history. do appreciate it. Or I wouldn't have agreed. Well, you didn't want Condi Rice to be there, so um, that's, that's what I'm right. going by. Uh, I'm small, small change compared to Condi. We're coming back, folks, on the Steve Malsberg show. Don't go away.